So it's July 2023 and you're just finally fed up now of these large home screen adverts, all of this sponsored content, all of these promoted applications. What can you do? Well, as you know, Amazon are really clamping down on blocking any process that allows us to use a custom launcher. Even some of the new things that were worked on in the last couple of months, Amazon essentially just created a block list and they said that if your custom launcher or your launcher manager or any of these custom applications are on your device, they just periodically go ahead and disable them. So even if you do get the process working after a couple of hours, you may notice that your custom launcher again stops working. So what can we do? Well, in this video today, let me show you a new method which will once again allow you to use a custom launcher on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire TV Cube. And this new process will ensure that Amazon will not be able to blacklist these custom launchers once again. I don't want to go into too many details for obvious reasons, but if you watch this video to the end, you can once again enjoy a custom launcher and not see any of those Amazon adverts, any of that sponsored content, and really just take control of your Fire Stick, Fire TV once again. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so for this process to work, we just need to get the latest version of Launcher Manager, which you may already have on your device, and also the Wolf Launcher, or really any custom launcher that you like. Once you've installed both applications, I'll show you the changes that you need to make on Launcher Manager to ensure that your custom launcher stays on your device. Now to get both applications, we can just make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can always type in the short code 53402. And let me just say all credit is due to the people on XDA. Those guys have done all of the legwork, they've done all of the testing, all of the troubleshooting, and they've come up with these workarounds to get this working on all of our devices. I'm just presenting their information so you guys can follow along. Now if I go over to the hamburger menu and click on that, and click on tutorials, and we'll see fairly near the top, there should be a Launcher Manager 2023, which I'll then be updating with the steps needed for this video. So I can now scroll down and what you're looking for here. So the version I recommend is the Launcher Manager 1.1.8. So you can get that from here. And you also have the Wolf Launcher if you need it. Now on my device, I already have the Wolf Launcher installed. So let me now just download Launcher Manager let me click on that. I can then scroll down and you're looking for the green download button. So let's click on that now. Give that a second and this will download that version onto my device. I can now click on install. Give that a second and that's it. I can now click on done. So all we've done on this device, on this new device, is install the Wolf Launcher and also install Launcher Manager. I can now press the home key. I've gone ahead to my settings and just confirmed in my Fire TV in the developer options and I've ensured that ADB debugging is enabled as that's required for this process to work. Once I've confirmed that, I can now press the home key. I can now go over to my app library, click on that and let's now start Launcher Manager for the first time, which is this icon here. Let's click on that. So there's going to be about three or four things that we're going to click on in here or make some changes. And one of the steps will actually require me to type out a fairly long command. And in my case, I'm going to use my iPhone, but you can use your Android phone as well. Just install the Fire TV application and that will allow you to use a virtual keyboard on your phone. You can then either type out a command or you can even copy and paste the command directly to your Fire Stick. And I will demonstrate that in just a second. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is click on Launcher Options. Let's click on that and we can see the old method doesn't work if you have the latest update. But I'm gonna scroll down and where it says the new method uses ADB to open the launcher, I'm gonna use that. So where it says disabled, I'm gonna press select there. Let's do that once. This may kick me out. 
Okay, that looks okay. Now it says the home button hook is off. I'm gonna press the select button. Okay, so I can't like restart it itself. So let's now go back in. So launcher options. Let's scroll down where it says home button hook. It says status disabled. Let's click on that. Again, we can see off. So I can now press the select button. And now it says on. If you do see an ADB prompt, you can click on always allow and click on OK. So mine now says on for that. And also for the second option, I'm going to click select again. And it also says on for that now. So we have two ons here. That's all done. I can now press back. I can now go back into the launcher options. This time I'm going to keep scrolling down. We can see this now says enabled. And where it says the custom launcher, I'm going to press the select button here. And instead of having the active launcher as the launcher manager, I'm going to press the select button here. And I'm going to now scroll down to my custom launcher. And of course, you can install any custom launcher that you like. But in this example, I've installed the Wolf launcher. I can now press the select button here. And now it says Wolf launcher is now the custom launcher. If I now press back. Now just to confirm that everything is working right now, if I press the home button, we can see on my 4K Fire Stick Max, it instantly, more or less instantly, takes me to a custom launcher. And let's now do those extra steps to ensure that this custom launcher does not get blocked, does not get disabled, and we can continue using it on our device. Now, if I go back into the launcher manager, so the first thing we're going to do in here is we're going to disable the sleep. So if I now scroll down, we can see in other settings, I can click on that, and where it says screensaver, Let's click there. Now we can see on mine, I've already set it to zero, but what you want to do is basically disable the sleep so your device won't go to sleep. Previously, we noticed that if your device was to go to sleep, when you'd wake up the device, it would again revert back to the stock launcher. So to avoid that happening, I'm gonna set mine to zero. That's now done. I can now press back. Now the last thing, and this is really the, the key part of this process, is to add in a custom command or script or a line, which is basically a bunch of commands, which will ensure that this process keeps on working. So I can click on ADB commands. I can now click on the plus on the top right. Okay, so we can now give a name to this uh, script or uh, command. I'm just gonna call mine R9. You can call it wherever you like. Let's click on next. And you now need to enter in this command, which I will show on the screen. As you can see, the command is quite long. So let's now open up the MyFi TV application on my smartphone. This is available both for iOS devices and Android devices. Let's now click on my device. What that basically means now is from my phone, I can press left and those commands are sent to my Fi TV stick. And you can also do a copy and paste. So the command will be listed on my website just underneath the download option. So I can now copy that on my phone. Let's now go back to Launcher Manager. Let's go back to other settings. Go back into the ADB commands. And you can see now guys, when I type something on my phone, on the keyboard, that's now sent to my Fire Stick. So I can now just go over to my website on my phone. And I can now copy out this command. Okay, click on copy. I can now go back to the keyboard window. Let's now long press. Now we see that I have the option to paste there. So if I can click on that, paste. And there's that big command there, guys. So that command has now gone in. We can now click on next. That's the command there. Now I can also select the option execute on boot, which is very important if your device restarts. We need to ensure that these commands keep on running just to ensure that our custom launcher keeps running and doesn't get blocked anymore. So I click on that and click on save. And that's pretty much it guys. So because of that command block, those commands will be run on my device periodically. And because of that, that will ensure that nothing can hopefully block my custom launcher from working, whether Amazon tried to do something or my device restarts. Those commands will just ensure that anytime I press the home button on my device, I will always see a custom launcher giving me once again a really fast fluid experience. 
I can quickly move around, I can click on things without seeing any of that sponsored content, without seeing any of those large adverts. I can once again take control of my device and it doesn't matter even if I reboot it, which I will just show you now. So let's press the play and select buttons together. Give that a second. And let's see now what happens when my device restarts. Okay, so my device has just restarted. And there you have it guys. So without me touching anything, my device booted into the custom launcher and everything is now once again working exactly how it should. And I can go ahead and enjoy this custom launcher without Amazon trying to block this on my own personal device that I purchased. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.